In this video, we will review the Polycom Web Suite interface. The Web Suite has four different interfaces that can be accessed by the user depending on function and permission levels. The four interfaces are the user level WSP or services portal, the super admin level WSP or services portal, the user level MEA or experience portal, and the admin level MEA or experience portal. Let's start with the admin level interfaces. Open your browser and navigate to the WSP or services portal. In order to access this interface, you need to type the IP address or URL of the server. Enter a super administrator level username and password. When you log into the WSP portal, your user permissions will determine the interface you see. Once your login is complete, click on the user management menu. Select the plus user, add a user icon, and fill in the required information. Don't forget to scroll down and assign a user role. There are three roles for the WSP server, the super admin, the admin, and the user role. The super admin privilege will take you to the configuration page that we are currently using. The admin and user roles will log you into the user portal that we will visit in a few minutes. Click the Add button when you have completed the required fields. Next, select the Settings menu. The Core Settings submenu allows you to configure the SMTP settings and server URLs. The DMA Config menu is where you add the parameters for Web Suite to connect to the DMA. Notice the MCU pool order and conference template that is being used by the Web Suite. The Conference Settings menu controls some of the features that are available to users, including meeting duration, use of the personal VMR, and the Join Meeting button. You can customize the emails that are used with Web Suite under the Email menu. Clicking the View menu allows you to see the email template. Lastly, the Custom UI menu is where you upload company logos or set notification messages to appear on the login screen. Moving now to the Platform Settings menu. This menu shows the setup for the date and time, the download certificates, and the license. Feel free to look around for a moment before we move on to the MEA or Experience Portal. To navigate to the MEA or Experience Portal, type the IP address or URL followed by colon 9445. Log into the MEA system. Click the gear or sprocket icon in the upper right corner. Select the user management menu. If needed, you can add additional administrator logins to the MEA server here. Now select the conference menu on the left. Clicking the general settings submenu shows the web addresses that are used for external and internal access to the experience portal. The roles management menu can be used to change chairperson participant, and guest roles for Web Suite conferences. Next, click the Platform Settings menu. Here, we can review the IP configuration, download logs, and reboot the server, among other things. Moving down the list, the Enhanced Content menu and the Settings submenu allows changes to file size and space for files added to Web Suite conferences. Next, navigate back to the WSP web interface and log in as a user. The interface is completely different now. This video interface is reviewed in detail in another user video on this site. Finally, navigate to the MEA or Experience portal. You can access this portal by typing the MEA IP address or URL into your address bar. This interface can be used to join a Web Suite conference. This is also the interface that a user sees after they click to join a conference using a Web Suite meeting invite. The admin portals are for configuration and user administration, and the user portals are for conferencing, scheduling, and attendance. This concludes our review of the Web Suite interface.